I want to give my bit on iCloud, its model structure, essentially, versus Google's ideology and structure of what the cloud is. A lot of this stems from many pundits out there debating, making statements like, well, iCloud is all about native software. And Google is all about the web. Pundits like John Gruber answering, it's all software. And that pundits like Topolsky, that they don't have the proper definition of what the web is, or they gloss over what the web is. Or that Pascal Gorby, another pundit out there, has it wrong in terms of the differentiation between Apple's model and Google's model. That user experience and, and that using of Ajax, which is John Gruber's main point, is that he's biased towards Coco using web services versus the workload coming down from Google and using the browser as its main client, as you will. And there are many others out there adding their own opinions and such. I thought that I would give my own bit on all of this. Being that I've actually worked with what we call application service providers. And this stems back from 1999 into the year 2000. Now, the person credited with application service providers is by the name of Jostein Eichelin. If I butchered the last name, forgive me. However, this man had a very good saying in that a user may have Microsoft Office on their computer, but you, the user, utilize a very small part of its full capacity at any one given time. And therefore, why should any user absorb the license cost and logistics of owning the entire suite when the cost and logistics of using it can be shared? Thus, we arrive at the application service provider model which will go even further back to a man by the name of John McCarthy, a brilliant computer scientist, who in 1961, at the centennial of MIT, gave a speech in that applications may one day be sold through a utility, as in the business model, such as electrical companies and water companies. And yet, isn't that what today's Google Gmail is? Many other applications, documents on the web, services like Buzzword, which is a word processing software that Adobe has now acquired and using it for their collaborative software. Or how about NetSuite, which is a tremendous amount of accounting and, and analytics software that is also very much an application being provided to you. You are not the sole holder of the license natively in your computer, but you are utilizing the resources necessary at any one given time to do productivity. It really doesn't come down to clients. Now I know a lot of the pundits like John Gruber and I may be wrong, but have bias towards things like Ajax and other technologies and will flat out argue that the workload to, let's say what he even said for Google, may be even more so than say a Cocoa based application using online services. However, clients while it can be argued, are not the crux of what 
providing applications and web services are about. It's about the data. Where that data resides is the real difference between Apple and models like Google. It's all about the data. The data. Where does it reside? How is it pushed? Where does it go? Who owns it? These are all the questions. And that is what I believe Topolsky and other pundits are saying when they say Google is about the web and Apple is about software. The web meaning that it is centrally controlled. The data resides on the web, on the internet. For Apple, that's only partially true. That is why I actually prefer Apple's model. Because when it comes to the data, which this is all about the data, Apple used to go from a peer-to-peer -peer system, as in one node speaking to another, to sync. And that kind of system, questions need to be asked in saying which peer is greater than the other, to say which peer is the truth. Essentially what Jobs is saying, what is the truth. iCloud is the truth. So, with iCloud and services such as email, which are essentially inherent as data on the web, those kinds of services will not really change in this type of topology. But things like photos, documents, graphs, movies, music, what have you, they have a very different type of flavor. For example, Google's data model, even though I know many Linux users are going to say, well, hey, there are clients for this. Google's main model is that they strive to be the central player and central host of your data. Whereas Apple is saying, you have many of our devices, and you would like that data to get to those other devices. Our older model of where each of our devices is equal peer to each other and therefore causing confusion of which one is the master or the truth of the data, we have decided to push your document to the cloud. So you save it. It still has a copy on your local device, goes to the cloud, and that becomes a truth for all the rest of the devices, of which then it is pushed. It is, that's a very key word. That is a key word to push. It's not publish, which Google does with Google Docs and many other its services. It is pushing the data to your devices, where then the copy will reside on that device. So if you were to oh, you were to save the document on device over here, and then open up the application, the push would come, you would receive the changes before another save could occur. Therefore, the truth has occurred in the cloud, and the truth was then pushed before saving and making modifications then becomes the new truth to which then goes back to the other device. That is very different from data all up here, data in code and APIs, as many pundits like to suggest, comes down to the browser, publishes what you will see on the central server to you, you make the changes, and it saves on the server. There are no other devices to talk to. While Google does provide services, and I know, again, there are going to be many users that say, well, there are things that you can use and, and, and copy to clients and such as that. The true model, again, and I will repeat, is not really designed as such. Google is the central player. That is their central theology. Apple's theology is that we need to overcome the obstacle of what is the truth for many of our devices, rather than bombarding the user with many questions of is this device your master or is this device your master? It's easy, far easier, and again to repeat myself that data one goes up, it is, goes in the cloud, it waits for the other devices to receive the data, the other devices receive the data before any other action can, can occur, and therefore sync merges and conflicts are far less likely. A central authority is a single point of failure versus one device failing and the rest still having the data. Those that while Google is very efficient, I said, and I should use the word proficient at backing up data and recovering from the outage of Gmail, 
and Amazon's crashes and other central authority crashes that have occurred. I applaud Apple for using the cloud and services that I feel are far better for the user. So while many pundits may argue this and that about Coco versus Ajax, remember this. Google could make a fantastic client. Could make it in Coco if they wanted to. But I, I guarantee it won't change the data model because it's all about the data. Will that client receive a copy? Likely not. It's just a portal to the central command, the central theology that is which Google believes in that publishes data to you. It's really irrelevant, guys, whether that client is a browser or Ajax or Flash or some applet or written in Cocoa or C Sharp. It is all and always will be when it comes to the models that we're talking about application service providers, because let's be frank, that's what we're doing. Cloud is just a simplistic way of, def of glossing over many complex things going on, and easier to remember, catchier, I'm sure. Again, swap Cocoa with Google and Apple with using their, the Safari on each device to, to use iCloud. That's all moot. So the pundits can continue to argue about user experience, this and that, and trying to differentiate Google from Apple. When both sides could easily just write a web interface, like I just said, Apple could just decide to use all of, all of their Safari browsers within the devices, and Google could just decide to say, if it's a Microsoft platform, we're going to write a, a, a C-sharp client. If it's Mac, we're going to be writing a, a client within Cocoa. Clients are not the argument. The data is. Thanks for watching.